Hey guys, what's up? Uh, Dan here, and um, I thought that I'd show you another tutorial. Um, purely because the last one was everywhere. I got a few people saying that it was a good tutorial, so I'll do another one. Another Sony, no, Cinema 4D one. And this tutorial is for cloth. Uh, basically, it's simulating uh, how to get Cinema 4D to simulate cloth. Cloth for you. Um, it's pretty simple. Um, I'll show you with this platonic, if that's how you say it. Um, what you need to do is, first of all, you need to get your object which you want the cloth to land on. This is the this is the actual thing that the cloth is going to be landing on and taking the shape of. Um, you'll know what I mean in a minute. Um, so get your shape and then you need to pull out a plane. Now, the more segments you have on your plane, the more realistic the actual um, cloth is going to look. So let me just make the cloth bigger, or the plane bigger. I'm going to do mine at 60 uh, segments each, so you've got quite a lot of... Um, acting all at 50 because... Oh, no, not 5. Basically what it is, is when the cloth is applied to it, it kind of stretches the segment, so the more segments you have, the less distorted the cloth looks when it gets stretched. And then, pick up right colour. Um, I'm going to go lime green. Okay. Okay, so you have them too. You then want to um, highlight both of them, like that. And see over here with this... Um, Icon is you just want to click that. That makes it editable. And you then want to go on the uh, pla platonic and you want to click on cloth tags and go on collider. Now you don't know how to get to there, you need to right click on it, go to cloth tags and then collider. It's very simple. And then you need to do the same with the with the actual cloth. But you need to instead of pressing collider, press cloth. Um, and then you have more or less a cloth. Um, right. So if you play it, it will act all cloth-like. But this isn't done yet, as you can see. Actually, I don't know if you can see it. Wait until it does it again. Some of the parts overlap, and it looks really, really jaggedy. Um, you can fix this by um, adjusting some of the settings, which I'll go through in a minute. But, um, just for now, this is how it looks. Um, so it does look uh, quite professional. Um, at the moment I haven't got any light, uh, source light in there, so it doesn't look as professional as you want it to. Um, but to make it mo look more professional than the... Iter it uh, iterations or literations. I don't know. I don't know what this word's meant to say, because iterations doesn't sound right. Anyway, you want to turn turn that to at least ten. Now this will make the um, putting all of these different numbers in will make. Th you want to turn the stiffness down to fifty percent. By the way, um, all these different um, like changing these. Um, attributes for the cloth will make the Cinema 4D make more calculations which will slow down the um, render of it. Uh, don't worry about that, if you have a relatively good computer then you don't you have really nothing to worry about. Um, you can add forces like uh, wind which I'll be showing you in a minute. Um, and then what you really want to do is um, when you get into this um, the attribute to the cloth, which and you get in there by clicking on this icon here. You just click it and it's straight away. Uh, you need to go on expert and then make sure that um, self collision is on. That stops it from like overlapping as much. I mean, it doesn't stop it completely, but it stops it quite a lot. And um, yeah, let me just stick a source light in the sky. Okay, um, I don't know how successful this is going to look. Um, 
So yeah, as you can see, it's going a lot slower now because um, I made it do more calculations. Um, but as you can see here, it's like overlapping. I don't really know how to explain it. There is other ways of fixing this, but I am just going to show you the basics for now. Um, but yeah. It's relatively easy. What I think that it, uh, iterations does is I think that it makes it stretch less, which is more realistic. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a test that I did earlier. I've set this up pre-made. And I'm just going to show you what um, effects wind has on the whole cloth. Thing so I've just set up a simple table with an arrow sticking out of it, and if a player, well, it's really slow actually. Um, this is actually really slow, but you might be able to see what I'm trying to get at here, which is when you have wind, as soon as it hits an object, the object will be like it's getting hit by wind so it'll get pushed to um pushed to whatever direction the wind's getting taken so as you can see here you can tell that there's some sort of wind forcing that to go that way um yeah obviously there's like this problem here but that's the only real problem I see with this actual cloth thing, is that the, there's areas like this that like overlap. I mean, there is ways of fixing this, um, like instead of making it like an, um, square boxes, square segments, you can change them to all sorts, like, um, like pentagon shapes and different, they're just basically different shapes, and that kind of fixes it, but I'm not going to go through that now, I just wanted to show you how to easily make it, and hopefully I've achieved that. Um, if you want any other tutorials on how to do stuff like this, then just tell me and I will do them, because I enjoy making videos like this. Um, but yeah guys, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the video.